Hello beautiful Moon Magic Super Souls, welcome to your readings. Today we're asking for an immediate message from Spirit and we will also check out the coming week, the next seven days. I post these readings every Sunday. So I'm seeing this for Pile 1, I am seeing this for Pile 2 and this for Pile 3. Now beautiful souls, um, yeah I post these every Sunday, we're asking for an immediate message, something you need to know, it could be time sensitive, something you need to know right here, right now. And pile one, listen. Card number 25, listen. Wow, powerful readings this week already. I can just feel it. it's like the energy coming in. Wow, so pile one, listen, pile two, Card number 20, it's time to celebrate. This is pile number two. And pile number three, we have card number 26, practice freedom. Okay, so card number 26, practice freedom. This is pile number three. Beautiful souls, I'm going to draw a rune and a charm as well. And then I'll leave the video running as well in case you need a little bit longer. Sometimes it's the runes that guide you in. Sometimes it's the charm. Sometimes it's just the cards. Okay, so we have pile one. We have your rune. We have the rune, ooh, we have the rune of my apologies, sorry rune, dropping you. We have the rune of protection, algis, and you also have an arrow with a heart on it. Okay, so the rune of protection with the arrow with the heart on it. Pile two. You have a beautiful leaf, and you have Perth. The Rune of Initiation. Okay, so that's Perth. The Rune of Initiation. And then Pile 3. You have Isa. The Rune of Ice, of Standstill. And you have a feather. I say a feather, a wing rather, a beautiful angel wing. Looks very feather-like actually, but an angel wing. Mm. Okay, so pile three, the rune of ice, Isa, stand still, and this beautiful feather. Oh, I keep saying feather. I'm finding that really interesting. It's a wing, but I see, I keep hearing it as a feather. What that means, I do not know. We'll find out when we get to the reading. Okay, so beautiful souls, I'll leave the video running for a few minutes longer. Take as long as you need, because this is an immediate message. There may be more than one message coming through for you, and then we follow through to see how that might pan out for the week ahead for you. Um, so just um, trust your inner guidance and follow whichever one is speaking to you the most. And if for some reason it's not resonating with you, it may be that another pile is speaking with you. Sometimes as well, some of the messages within the cards may, some of them may be for you, some for others, because this is a general reading, but just really just home in and trust, and I'm sure you will find the right reading for you. Ultimately, beautiful souls, these are timeless readings, so you can come to them at any time even though I post them every Sunday. So Moon Magic Super Souls, I hope you are doing brilliantly. I will leave the video running and I'll see you in the readings in a few moments.
Hello, my beautiful pile one. How are you all doing, beautiful souls? Okay, so we're asking for an immediate message. It may be time sensitive, something you need to know right now. A message from spirit. What I'm really tuning in with straight off the bat here. Listen, 25, your inner child has something to say. With this arrow with the heart on it, I feel like there is actually something that you want to do. And I feel like it involves taking a risk and you're anxious about doing it. You're gonna be protected. Really listen up. What is it that your, what is it that your inner child, there's something within you, something very pure within you that wants to have a voice, that wants to say something. What is this about? Let's get more guidance, more information. Okay, let's draw your tarot cards straight off and see what else we're shown. Hmm, we'll sit those there for a minute. Let's look at these four first. So you have the two of wands, you have the eight of cups, you have the seven of discs, and you have the queen of wands. Hmm, okay. This, there is, there's something you want to reach for, but you're holding yourself back. This is really interesting. And your inner child, the pure part of yourself is saying, well, look, what are you waiting for? You know, what's the conflict? What's the dilemma here? What are you waiting for? That's what's really coming through here. Your inner child is actually sort of saying, look, what have you got to lose? Go for it. How about discovering? How about seeing what might open, what might unfold, what might grow from this? And yet you are conflicted about this. That's what I'm seeing here. A part of you wants to just go for it. Another part of you is, yeah, you're conflicted. There's anxiety or concern or reticence is a word coming through. And yet I feel your inner child is saying, actually, listen, I think if you listen to your inner child, I think you'll discover what's holding you back. That's, I think, what we're being shown here. There's something in your inner, the, your childhood, your inner child is saying if you if you go back and listen to your inner child i think it will make some sort of your dilemma will make more sense to you okay whatever that is for you this is a um a general reading and so you know i'm kind of interpreting the energy for you we have also got the knight of wands we have the knight of swords wow okay that's really interesting. We have the Three of Swords. And we have the Universe. Hmm. Yeah, okay. My gosh, whatever this is, you really, really, really want to do it with a passion. I, a part of you seriously wants to cut through the crap and go for it. It's almost like, oh, I just want to, this is what I'd love to, to do, to try, to ha make happen, to move forwards. And yet, there is this sort of part of you that's saying, yeah, but wait and see. We don't have to make a choice yet. And yet, I, I do see potential here. I, I'm not seeing anything negative coming from the outcome. So let's really listen up. What does your inner child actually want to say to you? Yeah, what is your inner child trying to communicate? Let's draw some oracle cards. Get some clarification. We have dragon. We have rejection. Ah. Okay. Hmm. Discovery. <laughs> Do you know, two more cards coming out. One has like flown out and is just sitting in front of me and another has just popped out too. We've got confusion and we've got acceptance. Okay. I'll put those to one side for a moment. Okay. You're fearful of rejection, beautiful souls. I'm seeing this. 
And yet your inner child is really saying, look, how about setting forth and just discovering this? How about taking a different approach? Okay. What's holding you back? It is a fear. There's a fear of rejection and it goes way, way back, I think, to childhood. Interestingly enough, I think that, that your inner child is wanting you to step back from this, have an overview. The dragon energy is about almost like stepping away from your sort of wounds and your ego self and just having that overview. Seeing the seeing yourself, seeing your the self within the self and listening. It, it's like the inner child in you would like to just play, would like to have a go. And yet something in you is, is, is most definitely fearful. There's a lot of inner voices going on here. And it's causing you a lot of confusion. Here you're being asked to accept your true value, your true self-worth. Whatever this situation is, I sort of almost feel like there's a lesson at, at hand, as it were. And the lesson at hand is actually to do with recognizing your inner self-worth, allowing yourself to have a go, to not be perfect, to get out there and just learn from the experience, to discover, to enjoy the journey and find out whether it's right for you or not. It's almost, this is one of those situations where you're only going to know if you do it and yet you're hesitant. But the hesitancy is this sort of child fear. It's almost as if the, the wounded child in you has taken over the decision making and you're you're fearful of moving something forwards and yet the 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 more the purity the child before you were wounded the child in you before you were wounded is saying look actually you are perfect just as you are how about having a go how about just sowing some seeds see what emerges how about just discovering and also recognizing you have choices along the way you're not stuck in anything here just because you embark on something, you're not stuck with it. And I do see this magnificent space of potential with the universe and the Queen of Wands. How is the week panning out? What else is going to emerge for you? I'm wondering a little bit more about this actual situation. But this is quite clear for you. How is the week panning out? So we have Solar Calm, Clarify. Okay, so there will be an opportunity for you this week to kind of get still and get a little bit clearer about what you really want to do and how to move this forward, to kind of cut through the ego crap, really, as it were, the, the wounds, the hurts, and, and work out how to move forwards, how to begin to sort of heal and move along anyway. Something's going to come in to give you a space of calm or a, an invitation to something. There we get more invitation, more invitation, more information about how this is coming, please. What's going to happen to pile one, please, to create this space of clarity? Sacred Falcon shows the way. Okay, so I do see that something is coming in that's going to bring you some form of guidance. Okay, something arriving. What else do we see here? What else? What's arriving? What will this falcon, what shape will this guidance come, come in this week? We have the fall. So there'll be an opportunity to start something, to, to go and do something, to take a risk, basically. Yeah, almost like if there's that thing you've wanted to do and suddenly you get an invitation and it's like, ooh, okay, that's really full on. I've, I've got an invitation. Do I just go for it? Well, your inner child would suggest yes. Ten of Wands, absolutely. Yeah, don't be burdened by this. This is time to really take a hold of this. I love this Ten of Wands in this pack. I always feel it's with the bear. It's kind of look within. Just recognize what's holding you back and take that risk. King of Cups, I think you're going to love it. Because everything here is looking really favorable. 
It really is. The Queen of Wands, the universe, everything is looking very favourable if you take a risk and have a go. Queen of Swords. I fully acknowledge you're going to have to sort of bite the bullet here. Absolutely accept within yourself that you are worthy or that this isn't going to go wrong, my lovely pile one. But your reading for this week is very clear. There is something, I, I think you've wanted this for a little while. And there's definitely an opportunity to move towards it, to sail towards it. I think the challenge is, because you really want it, it feels there's quite a lot of emotion in there. And you know how sometimes when you really, really want something, you could almost cut your nose off to spite your face in a way, just because it feels like you want it so much, you just can't bear the idea of it going wrong or of any form of rejection. But I think you're going to be guided, you're going to be given an opening, and it will mean that you can take that risk. So I don't think you're just going to have to launch yourself forward entirely on your own. I think something's going to be gifted to you or shown to you. It could be a sign, it could be a signal, there could be a synchronicity or literally an invitation. Something will come along that will give you an opportunity to, to literally have that to, to open that doorway for you to have a go don't burden yourself with too much in your head stuff my beautiful souls that's what your reading is suggesting you don't have to be confused about this just rise above approach it calmly and go out there and have a go go back to that point in your childhood before you got wounded when actually it felt as though the world was truly your oyster. You're going to be protected in this. This room speaks of managing your emotions as well. Actually, really interesting, Algis. You know, having control of your own emotions, not letting your emotions control you, but recognizing, you know, if something feels very fiery, very passionate, very intense, it's actually because it matters to you. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to say this looks to me as if you advance forward, you take a risk, you take a step in something this week, you have an opportunity to, you'll be given an invitation and it will, it, it's to do something you've wanted to do for a long time or to reach out over something you've wanted for a long time. So beautiful souls, I'd like to say go for it, really. And listen to your inner child, because I think that's where the roots of this are. There's definitely been rejection, and I think the roots of this, of this insecurity, because it's something you really want, are, are that's what's playing out here. And if you can just identify and acknowledge that, you can sort of rise above it and move beyond it. Center yourself in the acceptance of how amazing you are, right here and right now. You were always wonderful, just as you were. It's just that life has dealt you a few blows that left you feeling other than, you know, otherwise. But they, those are an illusion. Don't burden yourself with those. Step through this, this, this moment. Embrace the opportunity. And yeah, and, and really focus on what you want, you know, really get your mindset into that space of positivity. Pile one, this is your reading this week. Um, love the energy, really do. I'm so sorry you feel this way. I can see that it's been, and it is, isn't it? Let's face it, we all, we've all got stuff that goes way back. It's part of being human, but it's really time to step over that and move beyond it. Really hold that self-belief beautiful pile one. Um, this is your reading for this week. Tons of love, my beautiful souls. And thank you so much for joining me. Um, I post these readings for immediate guidance and looking at the week um, every Sunday. And I post readings as well on bigger readings on Tuesdays and Fridays and then shorts in between, plus a few extras. And beautiful souls, I'm about to post my moon month readings. So very soon in the next sort of seven, eight days, because I'll be doing lots and lots of readings for all zodiac signs for the coming moon month. My, my monthly zodiac 
zodiac sign readings work on the basis of a moon month rather than the calendar month. I go from the new moon to the new moon and I post my big all zodiac sign readings on Patreon. I've set up a members area, a membership area here on YouTube, um, which should show up soon at some point. And when it does, that's where I'm going to be posting the all zodiac sign readings as well. So um, some people have actually contacted me and said you found it quite difficult to navigate Patreon. I know some of you manage to breeze it and others find it more difficult. I get that different platforms resonate with us but there is now a membership area and if you wish to contribute into that um, and access extra material that is on patreon you can access it in the members area here on youtube as well beautiful souls thank you all for being here um, don't forget to subscribe and press the little bell icon if you want to make sure you never miss a reading and thank you so much for liking and sharing and obviously for subscribing and all your comments and also all of you who give back through the super thanks in the comments par one have an amazing week. Pile 2, welcome to your reading. Beautiful souls, I hope you are all doing really, really well. And you have Perth, initiation. 20, it's time to celebrate. Cultivate an air of celebration today. You also have this leaf which looks like it's had a little bite taken out of it as well, actually. I feel like there's a zone of fertility around you. Something's coming to fruition. And this is a time to, curiously enough, not be pushing forwards, but just a time to sort of ease back a little bit. Funnily enough, I feel if you press the pause button, you're actually going to be shown something that will move something forwards. You don't have to be all out guns blazing at the moment. It's really the very first message that's coming through for you. Now, let's draw your tarot cards, dive straight into tarot cards, see what we're showing. We are asking for an immediate message and then we'll look at the week ahead as well. So you have the Eight of Wands, which is a card that's very fast moving, very happening. You have the Seven of Discs. Okay, what I'm seeing here is I think there's actually more than one way that you can approach something. Okay, more than one. It's not exactly more than one direction. I think all roads lead to Rome in this instance, actually. But there's perhaps there's more than one approach to something that you're doing and you're working on. More than one. Yeah, more than one approach is the best way I can describe what I'm hearing here and what I'm seeing. And yeah, Queen of Wands, Eight of Cups. I think you have a choice at the moment. You, at the moment, you're, you're moving ahead and something's going really, really well for you actually at the minute. Something is moving ahead swimmingly. It's doing really well. However, yeah, you're being advised to sort of just slightly step away, rest up, pause. Don't go all, keep, all, keep going all guns blazing because you're going to be shown a different a different approach or a different way of doing something there's more than one route to get to your final destination i'm seeing you once you get clear making very clear choices being very much you know i think you're going to be on top of your game in fact i think you are on top of your game with something at the moment something you're working on very much at the top of your top of your game really we have the universe yeah absolutely Something you're doing is really working. It's moving forwards in a big way, which is fantastic. Way to go. But there is something along the way that you can approach from um, a different perspective. Fascinating, your candle has just gone out. So, Ace of Swords, we have, and I'm seeing this card. I'll relight your candle in a moment. We have Three of Cups. I'm going to take both of these for you too. We have Four of Swords and Gratitude. Okay, yeah, really clearly here. Um, literally, it's almost like stop. Something burns, yeah, stop or you're gonna burn out. That's the message that's being shown to us here. Let me get another candle for you. Yes, there we are. Yes, yeah, stop or you're going to burn out. There's other ways of doing this. You don't have to be in such a hurry. You're going to need to 
Yeah, all ro- I, I just feel like all roads lead to Rome here. You're going to get to the final destination. It's almost as though what's happening is you're not going to enjoy the journey or you won't see the best route to get to the end goal if you keep on just pushing and pushing and pushing yourself. It's time to celebrate. Acknowledge how far you've come. Cut yourself some slack, okay? Really seeing this. That there's going to be almost like a little pathway of it's not exactly rebirth but re realigning or revitalization getting your energy back getting your passion back here and then continuing on your way what you're building is really solid you know it's you're on track you're on form here the key here is is to stop pushing yourself at speed and let it emerge Let's get some oracle cards for you. Your message is very clear. We have the energy of the crow coming in. How interesting. I always feel crows fly between the worlds. They see the things that maybe we don't always see in our everyday lives. I do feel there will be things, additional things to see. We have the card of service. Hmm. I'm seeing these two as well coming through for you. impasse and instinct right okay really clear guidance for you okay we'll ask for very clear information in a moment about the uh, the coming week i think something is if it hasn't already i think it's about to stop you in your tracks okay the impasse card is where you're stopped because there's going to be a better route for you or there's purpose to it Yes, crows see between the worlds. Instinct. I think you're going to miss something, or it's either miss an opportunity, or or you could, what's the word I'm looking for? When I'm seeing success in your reading, I'm seeing you get to where you need to be. I, I just feel like you could burn out. I, that's really coming through here. You could burn out and as a consequence, ah, your message, message channeling through for you. I think you could burn out and then as a consequence, you miss an opportunity. It's almost as though you've kind of got to be, you've got to have the energy to take an opportunity when it's offered to you or to try something or to have a you know when you're working on something and then along comes like a an opening or a connection or someone contacts you or something happens and you just think oh well I really should go for that that's amazing but you're just too exhausted you know you're, you've burnt out you're sort of some, something may happen right now that may slow you down and the purpose is so that you're revitalized ready to then move to something when it's offered to you instinctively you're going to know so the key here is really to stop and smell the roses look at how far you've come and don't be trying to push ahead immediately because there will be something coming through for you it's really very strong energy coming through for you let's ask a bit more about what this is about what is this opportunity i mean we could ask about what's going to stop you but what's the actual opportunity coming through here what is the opportunity coming through for pile two? Moon, perception. Okay. So you're going to see something from a different angle. Yes, crow, you'll see between the worlds. You'll see something from a different perspective. And it's going to change the way you approach this. See these two coming out for you. We have... White Mantra Mother protects, and we have Blessing of the Kite Dancer. Yes, <laughs> I love these cards. Um, blessing of the Kite Dancer. This is like um, if there's an obstacle or a hurdle in your way, you are you're being shown here that that it's been put there for a purpose. So if something slows you down or stops you in your tracks. It's here with purpose. And instead of um, getting all sort of flabbergasted or up in the air about it or, or feeling really angsty and frustrated, do the opposite. Just think, oh, wow, okay, this is cool. 
I've been stopped, I'll, I'll press the pause button, I'll chill out, I'll look at what I've done, I'll celebrate where I'm at, knowing instinctively that the reason there's a hiccup or an obstacle is because you need to see something differently and you will then be guided through this. You're going to be shown something very clearly or, or your perspective or your perception of something will be challenged, but it will mean that you can move this forwards, whatever it is you're building and doing, you can move it forwards in a way that is going to be so much easier for you. It's going to flow better. May we see how this pans out in the week ahead, please. We have the Six of Wands. Oh, we have the tower. Well, the Six of Wands is the card of success. Okay, and then we have the tower. You're going to get a breakthrough. It's going to be a breakthrough moment. But you'll probably be stopped in your tracks in order to get the breakthrough moment. That's what I'm going to say, because you're going to see something differently. Yeah, we have the Hanged Man. Hanged Man, Queen of Wands and Three of Swords. Okay, let's move these along. Yeah. I think something that's been giving you grief is going to sort of break open. Something that's held you, I sort of feel like a bit held you to ransom or left you feeling like you're chained to it or you, you can't break free. We've got success here with the Six of Wands. I think you're plugging away at something and it feels a bit like, not exactly against all odds, because I think you're doing really, really well. And it's not like you're not on track, but there is something else you either need to, there's a diff, just a different way of seeing it, a different way of approaching it. Because at the moment you're so full on with it, it's like you're gonna burn out. Something comes along, causes you you may even have to be of service to someone and you might have to put down what you were doing but just step away look at how amazing this is you you really are get, you're on solid ground here but you're going to be on even more solid ground there's been a lot of worry and a lot of concern a lot of trying to make something happen striving to make it happen rather than allowing it to unfold and this is a time to let that sort of striving go. Almost, I want to sort of say a week of trust the universe. You're going to be guided. There'll be like a, 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 a rite of passage from where you are now to where you need to be this week, my beautiful pile two. Trust the universe and allow circumstances to unfold on your behalf. Literally, let the universe guide you. Let the universe steer your ship this week. Love what you've got, love what you've achieved. Let the universe steer the ship. If it's a day when things are swimmingly moving along, that's lovely. I think you're more likely to find you have days when things are, are moving along, but they'll probably be in a slightly different direction because things will pop up that you need to attend to. But as you attend to them, the way will become clear for the, you know, in terms of the bigger picture. So don't, you know, don't be too anxious about it. Something that has, you know, if there's a problem amidst your overall plan and there's a problem in there and you've been wondering how to overcome it, the solution will come to you. You'll know if there's something that's been really holding you back or that fly in the ointment or that one thing, you're going to see it. It will become so clear to you that you'll be able to move everything forward. So this is a week to trust the universe and literally allow yourself to move, move with whatever is being brought to you. And I do think you're gonna, you are gonna get that breakthrough moment. You're gonna get that light bulb moment, that idea or that bit and you'll think, God, that was so obvious. Why didn't I see it before? Yeah, so any holdups, just recognize they're there with purpose. And at the time of this reading, they are timeless readings to be fair, but at the time of this reading, 
Um, Mercury goes into retrograde tomorrow, actually, if you're watching this at, on the day I've uploaded it. So literally, we are in the Mercury retrograde shadow. And of course, the energy of Mercury retrograde and the joyousness of it, the positivity is that it causes us to have hiccups and problems in order to stop us in our tracks to get us to review, to get us to see things more clearly, to get us to understand where we've come from in order to look forward and move ahead. So I feel like this is a time when the Mercury retrograde energy is really working in your favor pile two really really is and if you're coming to this in six months time that's still the energy that's around you something's going to be a hold up for you but it's coming with purpose and you will instinctively find the best way through and not only that but you're going to achieve a far more sort of stable result at the end of it so pile two sending you so so much love beautiful souls this is your reading for this week or whenever you're coming to it the week that you are in when you find this reading thank you so so much for being here and um, beautiful souls if you are checking this reading out as i am doing this um if you want to never miss a reading um subscribe and press the little bell icon hopefully they'll come into your stream i post these readings every sunday and i post other readings on tuesdays and fridays with asking really specific questions and also to let you know i have just set up a membership area here on youtube now i have a patreon community thank you those of you who are there um, and i've had messages from people saying Saying that they want to access Patreon but they find it really difficult to navigate another platform. I know some of you find it really easy, others find it harder. Um, so I've set up a membership area on YouTube as well and so my All Zodiac Sign bigger extended readings that go on Patreon will also be on the YouTube membership area if that's something that interests you along with extras. I put a lot of extras into Patreon and I'll be putting those into the members area just to make those videos, those conversations a bit more accessible for you. So beautiful souls, pile two, tons of love. Thank you for liking, for sharing, for subscribing, all those things that help the channel. Um, and yeah, thank you for your comments. You guys are amazing. And for all of you who give back through the super thanks as well. Tons of love, pile two. Have an amazing week. Chill, go with the flow. Let the universe guide you. Pile three, welcome to your reading, beautiful souls. We're asking for immediate guidance for you and then we'll look at the week ahead. Now, card number 26, practice freedom, release the weight of judgment. I found it really interesting that I kept seeing this wing as a feather and in fact of course wings are made of feathers. I find it striking that it really resembles this wing here, this beautiful eagle soaring high and being released from something. It says, release the weight of judgment. Okay, there's something holding you back or something clinging to you, a negative energy. Um, it may be somebody else's judgment of you and it might be getting to you a little bit, stopping you in your tracks a little bit, ice, ISA. This is the, the rune of standstill. I feel like something's been weighing you down or weighing on your mind, heavily on your mind, perhaps. Let's just check out. You're needing to be liberated from it. That's for sure. And that's part of your message today. Yes, Knight of Wands. I'm seeing you charging forwards here. We have the Empress. Okay. And then we have the Two of Swords. I love the Two of Swords in this pack because it always, for me, tells me that you have a choice. Even if you're finding it difficult, you have a choice. And look at all these swifts and swallows flying here. And we see the quarter moon. This is a point of evaluation. My beautiful, beautiful pile three. I think there's a choice to be made here, almost like just don't let them get you down, is, is what I want to say. Don't let it get to you. Don't let it affect you. Don't let them hold you back. Make choices. Invest in yourself. Make decisions about where you invest your energy. Your message is coming through really clearly. This is literally the spirit, your spirit team is saying, look, it's time you liberated yourself from this 
the judgments or feeling held back by the judgments of others, I think largely. You might also find some of you may have a raging inner critic, um, but that's come from being judged. You know, that's when we end up with an inner critic that's really strong within us. That's come from being judged, where we constantly then judge ourselves because we always feel we're never good enough. So, you know, really important. I always think if you have an inner critic, we need to turn it into an inner critique. OK, because it's different. Uh, you know, criticism can be like slaughter, can't it? Whereas a critique says, hmm, this is interesting. I wonder if we could do this this way. It's like painting, isn't it? If you do a painting and you're really critical, you'll just scrap it because it doesn't look brilliant at the first brushstroke. But actually, a critique will say, hmm, I wonder if we could adjust that or bring in another colour or, you know, a critique sees it as a work in progress, whereas a critic is really, can be quite harsh, really. Yeah, Knight of Swords. How interesting that we have the Knight of Swords under the Knight of Wands. And then the Five of Discs under the Empress. Mm. I feel like you need to lay something to rest here. And, and be quite firm with yourself. Even if someone's pressed your buttons and it's, it's bugging you. We have the universe sitting under the two of swords. It's really time to make a choice to, to choose not to be bogged down by, it is really by the, what, the, what do other people think? What do you really think as, and, and as opposed to, yeah, that any inner criticism. There's just something about something that's really making you feel stuck and, and that's what needs to be liberated from and shifted you have the star lovely beautiful energy this is like recentering yourself in a space of possibility rising above it i mean who excuse my language but who gives a toss what somebody else thinks this is about you the cosmic egg beautiful this is a card that speaks of possibilities universal possibilities endless possibilities an amazing egg that can be hatched wonderful energy around you your team your spirit team absolutely love you i feel like there's so much support for you enlightenment <laughs> absolutely beautiful this is a lovely card. I think the story in this card, this little person sort of asks about how to find enlightenment. And this person, the, the, you know, the, the vision says, well, enlightenment, you know, is, is within, comes from within, not from without. You don't have to think about what other people think. This is about what's right for you. What do you want to do? Trust your gut feeling. Trust your instinct here. Do what's right for you. Don't, yeah, be, be released, lay to rest anybody else's perspectives and hold your own. Do what feels right for you. What other people think is irrelevant. You know, tell them to bog off. <laughs> I'm feeling quite put out on your behalf, I can tell you. It's really interesting energy. I really do. I'm like, I'm, I'm now rooting for you. I am seriously rooting for you, pile three. It's like, tell them to bugger off it's not it's, this is not for the, for anyone to tell you what to do we have south node the past yeah free yourself from any restrictions any perspectives from the past that say you can't do it your way i'm feeling quite shirty on your behalf i really am i'm like i'm yeah you know come on pile three <laughs> practice freedom beautiful souls you don't have to be limited by anyone you really really don't if someone's limiting you cramping your style it's good information send blessings and say thank you so much for showing me what kind of people you are because that makes it easy for me to make a choice because actually i don't want to invest in people who operate like that that's just not for me you know take it all as a as a blessing rather than a, a sort of oh you know really letting it get you down Okay, we have two cards coming through here for you. We have Lady of Laza descends and her joy overcomes gravity. Love this. Okay, if I put those up there, I think we can put this one down here. Yeah, yeah, that works. Yeah, this is time to let go of something from the past. Lady of Laza descends. Is This is you 
I feel just almost like landing, becoming you, you in your own right. That's what I feel like. But actually, I'm going to place this just together here. And we'll draw some more tarot cards to just ask about how the week's panning out. But your reading's really clear. Just this is truly about, about not being affected by other people. Doing something that's right for you. Doing it your way. Whatever that may be. Investing in yourself. The shift is within you, it's not outside. The shift is your choice not to take on board anything that doesn't work for you anymore. In terms of people's attitudes, let's ask about the coming week. You have the hanged one. You have the three, three, no, three of swords, the five of swords, lovely. Okay, so this is about making a choice. It is about making a decision. We have the lovers, which is also a card of choice. Okay. Yeah, if any of you are sort of, I don't know, in a relationship and, you know, maybe your friends don't approve, um, you know, it, well, it's your, it's your life. It's your relationship. What do you want? You know, it's got that flavor about it. Don't let other people hold you or, or keep you stuck in some way. If you're about to make a decision about something, and you're deliberating about the decision, it's yours to make rather than, I think if you ask too many people, you're gonna to get too many different opinions. But unfortunately, those opinions will be what those people would do or what they want you to do rather than what's right for you. This is really a time for you to significantly take charge, Knight of Swords, of the choices and decisions around you, to rise above anything that anyone else thinks. Four of Cups, beautiful energy feels very blessed, very centered, very right. There's, there's something that's right for you this week. A choice, a decision that's right for you. But I think there is opposition around, either opposition from other people, or, you know, sometimes you get those subtle little put downs that make you feel like what you're doing isn't worthwhile, or it wouldn't be the right decision. Or you have that raging inner critic and you're putting yourself down and saying, oh, I don't know about that. But everything here is suggesting that you need to rise free of those liberations. Practice freedom. Don't consider that anything is going to hold you back. Do what feels right and what is right. Yeah, look at this three of swords. This is the, really the moving, that, that break open point where you can start to heal. I always think the Three of Swords feels like a, something's broken down, but it's breaking down because something can then move from it. Yeah, you've got a really important decision to make, I think, here. Yes, we have the Death card. Don't be too concerned, I think, about the outcome. I think, I think, again, lots of worry about what other people think. Eight of Cups, seeing you rising to your North Star, finding your North Star, sort of leaving behind. I, I, I feel this is all about exerting your choices and leaving behind things that are probably something that isn't going to work for you. Nine of Wands. Setting the pace for yourself, holding your own boundaries. Doing what's right for you and not what's right for anyone else. Hmm. You may feel a little bit wobbly around it. I feel, my beautiful souls. But I sort of want to say feel the fear and do it anyway. That's, it's really got that flavor about it. Practice freedom, just release any judgment because it's the judgment and the perceptions of judgment and the criticism and the, that's, that's making this feel stuck. It's not the situation itself. I haven't done this for a long time in a reading, but I'm actually gonna do a little bit of energy clearing around you. Okay, my beautiful souls. So bear with me, I'm going to get down a pot of crystals after my lovely pot of amethyst points amethyst crystals are our master healers because really we want this stuck energy to flow so 
So I'm going to move some things around in your reading and perhaps draw some more cards as well. What we want is for this rune, Isa, stand still to shift and move forwards. At the moment, this is being, feels like it's trapped by other people's perspectives, what's right for them rather than what's right for you. So let's bring in some amethyst crystals, some energy and start to move the energy around. I said I haven't done this for a long time in a reading, I don't think. Um, if my beautiful souls just sit with this and, and sort of breathe it in really if you lean into the energy here okay and what i'm going to do is i'm going to pick out we've got this three of swords this sort of i'm seeing all this dilemma this sort of oh you know where do i go with this i'm the feeling quite stuck with the hanged man now interestingly here I'm going to bring these over down here onto the Enlightenment and Instinct cards. Okay, I'm going to bring in some lovely crystals, some amethyst points. like I want to ring fence them because there's judgment going on there's criticism there's this feeling of being blocked or that sort of like you can't or you shouldn't or sort of perspectives going on here fear that you'll be in the wrong or that you won't be liked or you, there'll be some outcome that won't be good or all that kind of stuff so I'm just going to completely ring fence any of that stuck energy here really bring these crystals around I want to sort of almost protect you from that kind of influence this sort of stuck influence here lovely okay so we've sort of ring fenced the stuckness and what I'm going to do with this rune now we've ring fenced that is I'm going to shift it okay take your key card your significator and bring it into the middle here you need to be liberated. So we're going to shift this room, literally breathe into it and feel the movement. Okay, as we shift it that way. I feel like I can breathe a bit more freely, which is interesting. Practice freedom. Okay, now, even though this stuck energy has been a bit stuck, I love this nine of wands because there's a real centeredness. It's like, do you know what? I have the strength to do something with this. You can see the way forwards. You can let go, moving your cards around a lot, but you know, I, I'm kind of like changing your story um, here. You can let go of the past, all of these things here. You can refind your North Star. We have here um, the beautiful Knight of Wands energy. You can move something forwards through liberation. You can invest and nurture in yourself. We have the Empress. Yes, remember choices are easy for you. They don't have to be a challenge. You can choose where you invest your energy. Invest it where it is right for you because your reading wishes to liberate you, to unstuck something that was feeling stuck. It's time for rebirthing. We have the death card, beautiful energy. We have the king of cups. You're gonna love the results. We have the five of swords. This is an energy where something can move forwards. It can be broken open and shifted. Let's sit this on the Knight of Swords. It can be shifted and moved forwards, laid to rest. Whatever choice is right for you, I'm gonna put the Four of Cups on the Five of Discs, whatever is right for you, it's time to embrace it, okay? Absolutely time to embrace it. Lady of Laza descends. It is as if you can sort of land and arrive differently. We have the card of the lovers. Something you desire can now move forwards and come into, into flow. And you're going to love it. Her joy overcomes gravity. Let's draw a couple more cards to get a sneaky peek. 
kind of into the future or we do generally ask about the week ahead but I feel this is encompassing what's going to be happening in your week let's get a sneaky peek into the future where is this taking my beautiful pile three when this is unstuck this criticism this judgment princess of cups it's like you hold the world in your hand I feel like you discover your own true power your own true sense of kind of entitlement eight of cups beautiful energy you sail off into the sunset nine of wands lovely you've got nine of wands twice i think as well that came up yeah nine of wands twice very different energy but both of these are such positive nine of wands in some traditional packs the nine of wands is a card where you're really facing a challenge i feel like you've got centered you've got still you've overcome the judgments of others and the criticisms within you and you know things that were once a challenge are a breeze to you and we have then, yeah, the Six of Swords. Something gets laid to rest here permanently. Really seeing that very, very clearly here. I'm going to put that behind you. Yes, the South Node. The past is behind you. This is a turning point this week for you, my beautiful souls. That is what I'm seeing, Pile 3. It's a turning point where you liberate yourself from something, from some form of judgment, whether it's external or internal, and it liberates you completely. What a joy. What a joy. Beautiful souls. Um, I feel like this card actually belongs here. It's almost like it replaces those other cards of inner judgment. I will leave your reading here. I mean, look what we finish with here, the star and the universe, how magnificent. Hope, love, joy, freedom, blessings. Magnificent. This is a week when something can shift. It is something you have to shift, Pile 3. You have to kind of like move yourself through it. You've kind of basically got to, I won't say toughen up, but I, I mean, it, it's like just thinking, do you know, I'm not doing that anymore. If it's the inner critic, I'm not doing it anymore. And if it's other people's perspectives, it's, do you know what? Thank you for showing me what kind of people you are. I don't want you in my world. I'm certainly not going to listen to anyone that takes that attitude. It's really shifting your perspective. And that is what's needed here my beautiful pile three. Tons of love to you, beautiful souls. This is your guidance for this week. If this was your pile, um, if it's not resonating, perhaps another pile is relevant to you. Um, thank you so, so much for being here. Um, if you make, want to make sure that you um, get all of my readings as soon as I post them, I post on Tuesdays and Fridays with general questions, lots of different questions, focused, um, you know, timeless readings. And then these readings every week, which are also timeless on a Sunday for immediate guidance and weekly guidance as well. We look at the week. And just to let you know, I've just set up a membership area here. I was contacted by quite a few people who wanted to access my bigger extended All Zodiac sign readings on Patreon and they were finding Patreon or a different site difficult to navigate. Thank you all of you who are on Patreon. Um, so I'm going to post um, my, my sort of all zodiac sign readings on Patreon still. Thank you all who are there. On Patreon you choose your donation. You can give as little or as much as you wish. But I've also set up a membership area where I will put some of those extras as well for you. Um, for those of you that find Patreon or another platform difficult to navigate. So watch out for that because there'll be extra material there as well. Beautiful souls, thank you for liking, for sharing, for subscribing, for all the things that you do. You are amazing um, and blessings to you all. Tons of love.